Well, good morning. Are there areas in your life where maybe, maybe you're refusing to listen to Jesus or unwilling? Or are there areas in your life where maybe you're simply refusing or unwilling to repent? So, why would I ask such a question? Seems rather loaded. Well, Jesus says, Matthew 12, 30, anyone who isn't with me opposes me. You know, it's a tough verse, but I feel like it's an important one to consider. Because when we are not willing to listen to Jesus, even in, a, in one particular area in our life, when we are unwilling to repent of a sin, even just one particular sin in our life, the truth is we stand in opposition to Jesus. I think this process of knowing and loving Jesus, I think it's, it's just that it's a process and we're ever growing. You know, a quick read of the character qualities in Matthew 5, 3 of the Beatitudes, those, those nine verses or so, Boy, the Holy Spirit can put his finger on something real quick on all of our hearts when we read that. I, I read that, that section and, you know, I, I'm pulled a lot of times towards the attitude of someone who's called as a follower of Jesus to work for peace. So easy in my life to see relationships, friendships, family members, whatever, that maybe aren't the best and it's like, nah, I'm just going to leave it. Huh? Jesus calls me to work for peace and, and I've got to listen to that. So what is it for you? Again, to come back to that question, where is that area where you know the Holy Spirit's been putting his finger on your heart for some time? Because we don't want to be in opposition of who Jesus is. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Just want to show you my vessel right here. That's where I got my paddles stored for the time being. Got my minnows and worms. Got a little five pound anchor. Fishing rod and live well is behind me.